Hi everyone, it's Robin. I have a video to share with you of a project that I created for the Wild Bunch, which is the Wild Orchid Crafts YouTube design team. Okay, so um, I started off with the uh, birdhouse from Joann's and then some different acrylic paints and some crackle medium and those can all be picked up at Joann's. I started off with this large brush too and I noticed it was losing some of the hair so um, after a few tries I thought forget it and just switch to a good brush and I'm just adding a coat of the Martha Stewart acrylic paint to the entire base of the um, bird cage. I think it's like pine or something. It just came from the dollar bin at Joann Fabrics a while back so I'm not sure if they still have them but um, I've been wanting to alter this for quite a while and so I'm just finishing up with the first coat of acrylic paint and now after that dried uh, I added the crackle medium and I like to use a sponge applicator for that it just seems to work better and so I added that to the entire surface uh, everywhere that the blue acrylic paint was added I added the folk art crackle medium and I picked that up at Hobby Lobby it's just in the paint section and that is what will give you the crackle finish uh, once you add your top coat so it's actually three steps to do crackle finish it's the base layer of acrylic paint usually it's a darker one doesn't have to be and then a second coat with the crackle medium and again each uh, layer has to dry fully so I've just uh, used the heat tool to kind of speed the process along and now I'm using a vintage white acrylic paint and this you have to move really fast with because the crackling starts almost immediately and so you don't want to go over the same area really more than once if at all possible sometimes with the you know like this project there were so many edges um, you know with the birdhouse that it really wasn't feasible to just do you know single long strokes um, so I just I went in with the large brush as well as a detail brush and um, just kind of did the best that I could with it but again I'm just trying to keep the paint moving and then once I app, uh, apply paint to that layer I just kind of leave it alone I'm using my heat tool to dry the last finish it's best if you let it air dry but again I was doing the video for the design team project so I wanted to keep it moving and I made a mistake here I thought it was fully dry so I picked up the um, I picked it up the I picked up the birdhouse and you'll see that it you know I took off some of the finish there but I'm going to cover it with lace so you really won't be able to tell later on and now I'm just picking out the flowers that I'm using and uh, just hot glue the lace there to the peak um, and trimming that off and then going ahead and covering so you can see you won't be able to tell really that uh, I took some of that top layer of paint off with my fingers just while I was trying to paint the bottom of the bird uh, birdhouse I think I said bird cage but obviously you know it's a birdhouse and now I'm just um, because the lace had a little bit of a wrinkle or a curl to it I'm just uh, gluing down the uh, little scallops there so it will lie flat It looks like I keep burning my fingers, but really it's just the glue. I don't like the feel of the glue on my fingers, so I just try and brush it off. And I'm switching to a different one. Uh, this is a pearl trim, um, pearl, lace with a pearl trim on it. I think just really um, it made a nice, um, almost a scallop to the base of the peak. And I'm mitering the corner, sort of, <laughs> just um, angling it so it looks like it's a continuous piece. And I hot glue that in place. Again, going around the whole perimeter of the, um, the roof peak edges. And again, just shaping that lace so that when I start the new angle, it won't be very visible. I love to use hot glue for this because well number one you can just keep moving but I know it's not going to go anywhere once it's in place. And 
I'm just kind of touching it up a little bit, pulling off glue strings. And you can see what that looks like. So you can't even really tell that I took uh, part of the paint off. This is just some flat back pearl trim that I decided to add to the roof peak. And just finishing that off and smoothing it in place to make it look finished. I can't stand working in a mess. Um, okay, so the flowers that I'm using, um, the uh, blue one is a 25 millimeter open rose, and then the off white ones are 20 millimeter open roses. And then I also use some sweetheart blossoms and some stamen. And then I also have some uh, five millimeter right here, uh, four millimeter closed rosebuds. And I'm just gonna create like a spray with the stamen, just weaving it in there, uh, getting it, you know, placement just right. And then um, I think I used three stamen and three of the rosebud. And then I'm just winding the rosebud stem around uh, the whole bunch to hold that in place and then snipped it off with my scissors and again just figuring out placement for everything ready to glue that down so these projects come together quite quickly it's just a lot of it is just determining what it is you want to do next uh, these are some uh, small rose leaves and um, I'm going to be adding some of the rub and buff to that, but first I'm just inking around the birdhouse just to kind of give it a more vintage look. And adding the gold leaf rub and buff to the uh, rose leaves and gluing those in place. Again, I love working with hot glue because it's, it's instant movement. You can keep going. So just figuring out where everything's going and getting that settled in and all of these flowers are mulberry paper so um, they're very easy to work with and pliable I don't show on the video but I later add stickles to that blue um, rose in the center and it just really set it off nice and so just tucking things in and just making the cluster of flowers the way that I want it. And then I'm going to add some of the uh, stamen into the, you know, as filler around, as well as uh, some more of the four millimeter closed rosebuds. There I go, pulling off glue strings again. And I think it needed a little, um, the pink added to the top just to kind of make it look like it was climbing up the side of the birdhouse. And then I decided that it needed a little bit more blue pulled in. So I added a five millimeter closed rosebud. And now I'm just adding, uh, these are creative paper clay charms that I made when I was on the creative paper clay design team. And so I just pull them out as needed. And I have a ton of them. So I'm just, uh, once I pull it out of the mold, uh, with the this is with the paper clay ones. Um, I, you just have to clean them up a little bit, cut the ed rough edges off. As you can see, I'm here kind of shaving it with my craft knife, and uh, just makes it look rounded. And then um, I have a file set that I use, and just kind of go over that. Just make the edges smooth and finished, and then use a like a fingernail file. Uh, as the last step just to finish it off and now I'm going to paint it just pulled out the same colors of acrylic paint again this is the vintage white and boy I made a mess I stuck that in there I was trying not to take the lid off um, and I stuck my brush down in there too far don't look mom I know you wouldn't like that <laughs> okay and then I'm just brushing on uh, some of the blue paint just to add a tone, a different tone and texture and depth to it. And then some more rub and buff. I love that stuff. It just really makes it look finished and uh, more vintage. And again, it does add more depth to it. Adding some of the um, ink again to soften that up. 
And I did add some more of the rub and buff you'll see along the breast of the bird before I glued that on. But that's pretty much it. Um, adding some uh, pearl flourishes. And I love to cut those apart so you get a lot more use out of them. So I just needed that little filler right there. Okay, and that's it. So they're super simple. Uh, it didn't take a lot of time, but um, it was really fun. I, I enjoyed altering it. So I hope that you'll see that you can do that too. It's not hard. Um, I've had some questions about the crackling. So um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.